What's on what's going on guys? So we're gonna talk about this oil. Schaefer 9000 Supreme 5W30. It's the best oil we've tested so far. Um had the highest additive package, it had the best looking sus viscosity. And uh they may also make another product and it's called Schaefer's Molly EP oil treatment. And on the back of it it says for gasoline or diesel engines can be used in petroleum base and synthetic base engine oils. Directions add one pint to every four to five quarts. Every four to five quarts. Here I'm going to play a video for you where I break a vial down in five segments. And that last portion of it is Molly EP. And I'll show you what it did to the oil analysis and how the testing came out. Um, friction modified with Micron Molly and Penetro to provide extreme pressure protection for critical components. Increased compression through better ring seal, eliminates sticking valves and lifters, and reduces blow-by. Well, how can a Molly additive do that? Well, maybe because it's Molly EP oil treatment formula oil treatment so we're thinking like like a lucas or a stp engine or motor treatment or something like that right thickens the oil here's the video of me uh putting the additive in the oil before i send it off to get it tested this is the schaefer 9000 going in right now And then the next one is going to be the Mali EP. So here is the notes from Blackstone Labs. We tested the viscosity of the oil twice just to make sure it was right. And both times it came back in the 0W50 range or 10W60 range. Which is much thicker than the 5W30. Everything else about this sample looks fine though. The additive package looks good. Boron, calcium, and magnesium are detergent dispersant additives. Molybdenum, phosphorus, and zinc are anti-wear additives. No moisture insolubles were found, and the TBN starts at 5.3. If you look here, Molly, it's 282. That's a pretty good amount of Molly. If you look at the full strength version of the 9000 series, it's actually much higher than that. It's like 3... I don't know, 330 or something like that. And boron is up over 200. Uh, if we move down here, calcium is good. It's not super, super high, so you don't have to worry about no low-speed pre-ignition. Magnesium is decent. Phosphorus and zinc are uh, at a respectable range. And right here at the Celsius viscosity, at 210 degrees Fahrenheit, it tested at 105.7. It's almost double what it would normally test with no additive. So what does that tell you about this? What does that tell you about this oil with this Molly EP? Let's go back and look at the claims on the bottle. Friction modified with Micron Molly and Penetro to provide extreme pressure protection and criti to four critical components. I'd say so. Increased compression through better ring seal. I'd say so. And reduced blow by. So this stuff works like, like that. And it makes that thicken up to the point where it's double what it should be. And they're testing this at a 10W60 or 0W50 with that additive in the oil. I mean, that... 
Molly EP engine oil treatment. Uh, wow. I didn't notice a huge difference in the bottle to where the thickness was, you know, really that high like that. But the way that EP interacts once it gets warm and the chemical engineering behind it, that really boosts up the thickness of that oil and how it performs when it's hot. That is a little scary for it to go from a 5W30 in range to a 0W50 or 10W60. I would say that would be great. The stuff would be great for a worn engine. For an engine that's starting to clatter a lot, have a lot of noise and stuff, and a lot of wear and tolerance issues. Dumping this stuff in there. <clears throat> Maybe exactly what people need i don't know <laughs> leave your thoughts on this this is one of this is a video that i was going to leave open because i don't know exactly quite what to think exactly yet um what do you guys think what do you guys think this did and how it's reacting and it's pretty interesting to put this in oil and get it tested and then see the results and they're like even the oil lab is like what way to test this stuff twice you mean just that little bit? Boosted that oil up like that? That's crazy. For an extremely worn engine, this might be <laughs> this might be some good stuff. We might have to start testing some other motor oil treatment, engine oil treatment uh, additives. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Y'all have a great day. Let me know what you think.